Hey everyone, today we're going to be creating our own Easter eggs from scratch in Photoshop. Everyone should have a PSD with just two layers on it. We have a pattern that we're going to use and then our background. When it comes to the size of the document, you can make this any size that you like. I made ours a little on the larger side, but you can make this as large or as small as you like or just do it right in the composite that you're creating. But if you guys are like me, you'll probably want these on its own document so you can go back and use them again later and just save them separately. This method is going to be pretty simple. We only have a few steps really to create this Easter egg, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want is your elliptical marquee tool. I suggest a feather of either zero or one for this. And you're just going to come to the center of your document and hold down the Alter Option key and click and drag out your Easter egg. And then let's go ahead and make a new document. And I'll right click and fill this with white. Now I'll go ahead and add a new layer. And I'm going to get my gradient tool and I'm going to choose some colors. So for these Easter eggs, I really liked um, having a gradient kind of different colors fading but if you don't like that you can just do a solid one so let's see maybe I'll choose like this purple to pink color now if you just want it to be one solid color you can click in here and change these or you can just slide your slider over like this and it's basically going to overtake that whole thing so that's up to you let me go ahead and drag this on and see if I like it. So the direction that you click and drag is the direction as you can see that the colors are going to end up. I think that's pretty good. But it's a little saturated for me so I'm going to go into my hue saturation and this is just an extra step you guys maybe don't even need to do. But this is a good tip for let's say you go ahead and put your gradient on there and then 10 minutes from now you decide you don't like that anymore. You can just clip a new gradient on there or you can come in here and just clip a hue saturation layer down to the egg and you can move either the master around or you can go into the specific colors and change them. It's totally up to you. But for me, I'm just going to make this more saturated or I'm sorry, less saturated and maybe darken it a little. Then I'm going to add another layer and clip that down. Hold down the Alter option and click. And we're going to get a gradient for our lighting this time. So we just want either a white to black or a black to white, either one. And then it just depends on where you want your highlights and shadows. Typically in your image, the highlights are going to be on the top here unless you have very specific lighting of like low lights down here, maybe candles or something like that. That is your main light source, but 99% of the time it's going to be somewhere in the top. So it's just up to you to choose if you want to put it in the center, the left or the right. So I'll go ahead and click and drag this way so that my highlights are up there. Maybe I want a little more, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode to soft light. And then I'm going to go ahead and merge these all together. So I'm on the top one and I'll come down to the last layer in our little egg thing here. Click and control or command E to merge those. And then I like to always just do a little bit more on the lighting. And again, you can wait until you have this in your image if you want to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do mine now and all it is is just I'm going to take a brightness and contrast clip it down and bring the brightness down and then I'm just going to use this for a little bit of extra um, shadowing here on the bottom actually maybe I'm going to lower the opacity and flow and just do a tiny bit across the middle as well all right so I'll go ahead and merge that and then we're going to convert this to a smart filter. And we're going to add a little bit of noise. So filter, noise, add noise. 
And if you need to, you can always zoom in. I'm going to keep this on Gaussian and monochrome and just adjust to add a little bit of texture in there. I think that's good. And then we're going to go to the filter gallery. Now this is a cool effect. If you want your um, Easter egg to be a little glittery, you can play around here under the texture folder. And then you're going to click here and find grain. And then I used the clumped. But again, you can play around with these and just see if there's something that you like better. Um, I just wanted to show you that one, but I'm not going to use that one today. We're going to go in the artistic folder. We're going to click on sponge and I'm just going to play around with this till I get a little bit of an egg type of a look. And then I'll click OK. Now, of course, you can just leave your Easter egg like this if you like and just maybe make copies and change the color so you have a whole bunch of them. Or you can add your own patterns and you can use brushes and overlays and whatever you like really to decorate the Easter eggs. But I'm going to show you really quickly just how to make your own stripes. So we're going to go back to the marquee tool and we're going to choose rectangular this time. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer and I'm just going to drag this out like so. We'll go ahead and fill that. I'm going to choose color and you can just choose whatever you like. And then just to make this easier, I'm just going to make copies of this and change the color and size a little bit rather than doing that all over again. So maybe I'll do something like that. And then to change the color, you can just clip a solid color layer to it. You can use the hue saturation, whatever you like pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and keep um, copying these and repeat my pattern down to the bottom. So I'll go ahead and put this one here and then once we get this one on and actually I think I'll leave it like that so I'll have like a purple yellow purple pattern. I'll just go ahead and group them and then I'll make a copy and I'll go ahead and drag this down. And then we'll go ahead and merge both of these groups together. And I think I'm just going to drag mine up a little. And we'll go ahead and hold the Alter option and clip that down. And then I'm going to use Control or Command T to grab the whole thing. And I'm going to click right here. And then over here we're going to choose Bulge. And you can um, raise and lower the bend here. If you hold down the Command key and drag this way, you can adjust it like that. So maybe I'll go like that, click OK. And again, I have to kind of resize this a little. And I'm going to go ahead and put the filter um, gallery back on this. Now, when you're, you guys are creating these, you can go ahead and flatten this and then do the noise and that filter that we used all at once but I just wanted to show you first how to totally complete one egg just in case you want the plain eggs so you can save yourself a step if you already know you want stripes and patterns or whatever and just do the noise and the filter gallery layer on the whole thing once you merge your pattern or stripes or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and add some noise I'll just use the same amount as before and then I'll do the filter gallery. We're going to click to the right of the layer and bring up the layer style and just go ahead and start breaking apart your little control here and moving them and just seeing what looks good. You just want to kind of fade it in a little bit into the egg. So I'll go about right there and then I'm going to get a curves layer and clip this down because we just want to add a little bit of highlight over here so it doesn't look so much like a solid layer. All right. 
right so once you've added a bit of highlight into those stripes we'll add a bit of shadow so I'll just use curves and bring my midpoint down invert it and just brush it on some areas that you want to be a little darker And then I'm just going to double click on each of the layer masks and feather that out a bit. Alright, and so you can leave it like that or if you want these to be kind of wavy or zigzag, what you can do is go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. And if you have a look here, you can just play around with these settings to get the kind of zigzags there that you like and then just click OK. And again, I would just want to adjust it a little just so it's not really like going off of the egg. And you can just do some of the stripes zigzagged if, as long as you keep them separated and then some of them straight. You can add polka dots. There's all kinds of things you can do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this because next I'm just going to show you how to add a pattern which is very very simple you're just going to hold down the alter option key and click that down the blend mode is really going to depend on the pattern and what colors you have in there for this one I think overlay is probably going to work the best or maybe color burn which I don't use as often but yes I think I like color burn the best and then again just use your blend if so double click and just play around with your sliders to fade some of that out into the egg a little bit more. And then we'll clip a brightness and contrast to this. And I'll just take a black brush and brush it off of the highlight side. And I'll go back to our pattern and add that little bit of noise. I don't really think that the um, filter that we used is going to be necessary. Just a little bit of noise should work. And I feel like I want a little more highlight on the whole thing, so I'm just going to raise this up. I'm really just doing unnecessary steps now, um, but it just bothers me. I feel like I just want a little more highlight. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you, again, it's really going to depend on the image that you have this in and how you have it placed as far as what your shadows are going to look like on it. But I'll just show you a quick basic shadow that you can add right now. Just choose a dark shadow color. Actually, probably should pull from the blue since it's going to have a little bit of that blue reflection in it. Just get a soft round brush. Just gonna go ahead and brush like so. Then I'll raise the flow up and make a little dot in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I will right click and distort. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out. And then I'm just going to motion blur it a little bit. So you want to go in the same angle. And another way that you can do that as well, if you prefer this, is to just get your brush and flatten it. Whoops. And flatten it like this. And just brush that underneath and do the same motion blur. So that is how you can create your own Easter eggs in Photoshop. I can't wait to see all the different ones that you guys create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.